God told me it's on purpose. He said, that's the problem you guys have. You go and tell people, well, you know, man, we should live for God, and you're talking to another Christian. We should live for Jesus, man. We should, you know, die to ourselves and really live for the Lord. And they go, I go to church. I know I'm saved. Right. Yeah, but you listen to the world and music and you live with your boyfriend. You know, don't you think you should change that? And they go, who are you to judge me? Yeah. You know why? They're not seeking God's face. They've already found the church. Yeah. They've already found religion. So they stop seeking God's face. God said, you got to seek my face. Wow. If you seek my face, you will wow. die. <laughs> Go to Psalms, chapter 24, verse 6. Wow. I want to die. Amen. I want everything in me that's not like God to die. Yeah. And if it takes me seeing God face to face, for me to die, I need to seek his face. Damn. That's right. If there's anything still alive in me, let me seek your face yes. so I can die. Yes. Psalm chapter 24, verse 6. Now I understand. I told the Lord, I was like, Lord, I'm going to go in this church and I'm going to find out who you are and I'm going to seek your face. Even if it kills me, God said, good. Because I understand that. He's like, that's good. Seek me until you die. In uh, Psalm chapter 24, it said, Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. So God is encouraging us to seek his face. Go over to 27, verse 7. Same, same, same book, verse, chapter 27, verse 7. Yeah. Psalms. <laughs> Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Now his heart is telling me, seek his face. Why would my heart tell me to seek God's face, knowing if I see God's face, I'm going to die. Remember uh, 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 Samson's mother and father? And they met the man of God, or the man of God, and, and the man of God said, you're going to have a child, and make sure you don't cut his hair. And then they, they, they asked him, what's your name? And he says, what do you want to know my name for? It's wonderful. Don't even worry about what my name is. So they said, well, is there anything we can do that to, 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 to uh, show our thanks? He said, yeah, go get an a, 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 a offering, a burnt offering, and bring it back and burn it to the Lord. They brought the burning offering back to the man of God, and the man of God consumes with a fire the burnt offering, then goes up out of their sight right in front of their eye. And they went, oh my God, we've seen God. And, and the father said, we're going to die. <laughs> and the wife had to say, clown, you know, the wife said, clown, now he's going to kill us. Why would he have us bring him a burnt offering? Now why would he accept our burnt offering? We're not going to die. But he was like, man, we've seen the Lord. He knew that from the Old Testament. He knew that from the scriptures. You can't see God because you'll die. But that's not what God was trying to say. He was saying, seek my face so you can die. Chapter 27. I mean, chapter 27, verse 7. Hear my voice when I call upon you, O Lord. Uh, be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. Uh, in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. Oh God, my Savior. How do you say Jesus, how Savior in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in Hebrew? Yahshua. So every time you see Savior in Old Testament, you just say, put in Jesus' name. So it says, do not reject me or forsake me, oh God, my Jesus. It says, uh, though my father and my mother forsake, the, the Lord will, will receive me. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Lead me in the straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn.
turned me over to desires of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still <coughs> confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. That's kind of like the song today, stand no matter what circumstance it is. Yes. So God is asking us today, seek his face. And what, you know, if you read the definition of prayer in English, it says to make a petition to God. If you read the definition of tefillah in Hebrew, it says to come before God and be honest. Two completely different things, right? So if I got to come before you and then tell you, I mean, it's like, it's like, okay, God, I know you don't know, so I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I know, I just want you to confess it. Right. Right. So God is like us. He wants us to come to him daily in tefillah, meaning come to him in honesty. You know what you got in your heart. Right. You know what you still want to do, right, that you're still fighting against, that's still trying to drive you into hell. Right, you know what it is. You know what you would, that, you, that the desires in your heart that are sinful, and God is saying, we got to burn that up. Could you burn that to the altar? Yeah, Can yeah. you bring that to the altar? Yeah. Can you be honest with me? Can you really pray? You're coming to me every day like, God bless the children of the world. Get out of here. you got lust in your heart. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So God wants us to seek his face constantly so that when we see him face to face, we die. Go back to Genesis chapter 28. Chapter 28. Al Panim, Al Panim. That's face to face. Genesis chapter 28. When you get there, say amen. amen. This is the, the three things the Lord said. Talk to him about face to face, the ladder and the stone. So we're going to talk about that now. Here we are in Genesis chapter 28. You there? Yeah. Um, Verse 10, we're going to start at, okay? It says, Jacob left her sheep, set out for Hernan. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night, because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. 